All right, let's talk about something we don't often discuss over dinner. We're diving into the world behind the funeral home's closed doors. This is the realm of the Thanatopractor. It's a fancy word, I know. It sounds like a dinosaur or a transformer. But it's actually the name for someone who prepares the dead for their final public appearance. Think of them as the unsung artists and scientists of the death industry. They are the ones who ensure your Uncle Bob looks like Uncle Bob for his funeral. Their work is a quiet, respectful process, a final act of care that most people never see. Pop culture loves to paint a spooky picture. Think dark basements, mad scientists, and maybe a thunderstorm for good measure. The reality is far less dramatic and far more profound. It is a job rooted in science, artistry, and a deep sense of responsibility. Thanatopractors work in clean, well-lit preparation rooms, more like a medical lab than a horror movie set. They are here to provide a service that helps bridge the gap between a difficult death and a peaceful final memory for the living. So, what is the point of all this? Why do we do it? In this essay, we are going to pull back the curtain. We will walk through the entire process step by step. We'll start from the moment a person dies and is brought into the care of a funeral home. We'll cover the cleaning, the embalming, the dressing, and the final placement in the casket. My goal is to demystify this work and show you the skill, the care, and the humanity involved. Everything begins with a phone call. This is the first step. A family calls the funeral home, a hospital calls, a nursing home calls. They inform us that someone has passed away. From this very first moment, the process is guided by respect and professionalism. The caller is likely experiencing one of the worst days of their life. The funeral director must be calm, compassionate, and clear. They gather the necessary information, who the person was, where they are, and what the family's initial wishes might be. This is the beginning of a sacred trust. A team is dispatched to bring the deceased into our care. Two funeral professionals travel to the location for transfer. They use a specialized stretcher and covers. They conduct themselves with quiet dignity, a moment of immense sensitivity. Arrival at a private home or hospital room is handled with discretion. Family members may be present. Calm demeanor is crucial. They move slowly and respectfully, ensuring privacy for the family. They are taking a beloved family member on the first stage of their final journey. Arrival at the funeral home. Every person is logged and given an identification tag. Tag placed on ankle and wrist. This maintains an unbroken chain of identification. There is no room for error. Every item is logged, documented, and handled with professional care. Before preparation begins, belongings are checked. Personal items, jewelry, watches, religious medallions, are carefully documented and removed. These items are photographed, bagged, and returned to the family unless requested to remain with the deceased. It ensures nothing of sentimental or monetary value is lost, another small but vital act of care. The person is then gently placed on a preparation table. The room is meticulously clean and private a controlled environment away from the public eye. Everything is kept secure and respectful. With documentation complete and the person secured, the Thanatopractor prepares the workspace for the next stage. The first hands-on step of physical preparation is a thorough cleaning. This is done with the same care you'd give someone unable to bathe themselves. The body is washed from head to toe using strong disinfectant soap. This step is fundamentally about sanitation and respect. Death can be a messy process. This initial cleansing removes dirt, fluids, and bacteria from the skin. Hair is shampooed and conditioned, fingernails and toenails are cleaned and trimmed. It is a meticulous and gentle process, a final bath, a ritual of honor. In many cultures washing the dead is a sacred act performed by family or community. Today it's often done by a professional with the same sentiment. During this stage the Thanatopractor performs an initial analysis looking for signs of trauma, disease, or discoloration to plan restorative work. If bruising is present, specific chemicals or techniques will be required to address it. They are like a painter studying a canvas before they begin to paint. The mouth may be secured in a closed position. The jaw can be held with a needle injector or sutures to create a natural closed expression. Eyes are supported with small plastic eye caps. The textured cap helps hold the lid and create a natural rounded closed eye. These steps help create a restful expression even before embalming firms the tissues. Specific tools and materials are prepared, waxes, cosmetics, adhesives, and instruments for delicate restorative work. These tools let the Thanatopractor rebuild and blend where necessary to reproduce a familiar look. This initial cleansing and preparation lays the groundwork for everything that follows, a quiet, dignified start to Thanatopraxis. This is not rushed or impersonal, 
It is an observant, careful process rooted in respect and skill. Now we get to the part everyone is morbidly curious about, embalming. Let's be clear about what it is and what it isn't. Embalming is not taxidermy. It is not designed to make someone last forever. It is temporary preservation and disinfection. Its goals are to slow decomposition, restore natural appearance, and kill harmful microorganisms so families can safely be present. Embalming uses the body's circulatory system. It begins with a small incision to access the carotid artery and jugular vein. A tube is placed into the artery and another into the vein. The arterial tube connects to a specialized pump. The machine pumps a mixture, formaldehyde-based preservatives, sanitizers, and dyes, into the vascular system. This process is called arterial embalming. The thanatopractor carefully monitors pressure and flow to ensure proper distribution and to avoid tissue damage. They may gently massage limbs so fluid reaches smaller capillaries in hands and feet. Dyes act as tracers and restore more natural skin color, counteracting the pallor of death. After arterial embalming, cavity embalming addresses internal organs. A trocar, a long hollow needle, is used to aspirate fluids and gases from the thoracic and abdominal cavities. Then a concentrated cavity fluid is injected directly to treat organs and slow internal decomposition. This ensures preservation both inside and out, for the safety of anyone viewing and for the dignity of the appearance. These chemicals require training and PPE. The thanatopractor is a trained professional who understands the chemistry and risks. Embalming is recommended for open casket viewings but isn't always required. Cultural, religious or direct cremation choices may negate its need. When performed well it's a precise chemical and mechanical process designed to serve living families, not to deny death, but to make final interactions humane and safe. With tissues firmed by the embalming, attention turns to restorative art, the work that creates a peaceful, recognizable appearance. This is where artistry, anatomy, and sensitivity combine. They compare to photographs, adjust lighting, and fine-tune the features to create a natural, peaceful repose. With embalming complete, the body's tissues are firm. This is when the true artistry of the thanatopractor comes into play. Closing the eyes is done with care. A small plastic eye cap creates a rounded, natural closed eye. The mouth is secured gently with devices or sutures, and a mouth former to preserve natural lip shape. Mortuary cosmetics are blended to restore natural skin tones. Subtlety is key. Creams hydrate skin and softening finishes help avoid an artificial appearance. Restorative work aims to make the person look like themselves, at peace and recognizable to family. Once prepared and set, final dressing is a deeply personal step guided by the family's wishes. Whether a formal suit, a beloved sweater or a uniform, clothing is a final expression of identity. Dressing a body that cannot assist is physically challenging. Staff work strong yet gentle, sometimes altering the garments back or dressing from the front to preserve dignity. Every detail is considered, collars straightened, fabric smoothed, final comb of the hair. If the deceased wore makeup in life, the family may provide their personal makeup so the thanatopractor can replicate their everyday look. Jewelry, glasses and personal items are cleaned and placed as requested, small touches that can be profoundly meaningful. The last major step is casketing, placing the person into the casket with care and coordination. This requires strength, coordination, and gentle movement. Usually two people or a lift are used. The casket bed is adjusted so the person is viewed waist up, with a gentle incline for a more natural resting position. Hands are positioned, often one over the other, with discrete supports hidden beneath the fabric. Lighting and fabric presentation are considered to ensure a peaceful viewing experience. The thanatopractor steps back, checks every angle and makes tiny adjustments, a final act of grooming and respect. Then the casket is moved to the chapel. The final embrace is the person is handed back to their family for last goodbyes. Thanatopraxis is not one size fits all. From the first call to the final viewing, everything is shaped by the family's wishes and cultural beliefs. Some traditions prohibit embalming, Others prioritize extended viewings and preservation. A professional must respect and facilitate these practices. A good funeral professional is above all a good listener. Families request personalization, a jersey, a rosary, a fishing rod or headphones. These small touches tell the story of a life. These details help make the viewing a true reflection of who the person was. The thanatopractor honors these requests with care and without judgment. Why do we go through all this? For many, the last images of a loved one are machines or trauma. Those images can be haunting. 
The Thanatopractor helps replace painful final images with a new one, a peaceful, familiar face, a memory that supports healing. An open casket viewing can be one of the first steps toward acceptance, a place to gather, share stories, touch a hand one last time. Thanatopractors are caregivers for both the living and the dead, scientists, artists, and compassionate human beings. They provide a final silent service that allows us to say goodbye and begin healing. Thanatopraxis is a bridge between a difficult death and a peaceful memory, between who someone was and the memory that will remain. This is a quiet, humble profession most of us will never witness but many of us will benefit from. Ultimately, it is a partnership between families and professionals built on trust, empathy, and technical skill. It allows us to remember our dead not for how they died but for how they lived. If this video has demystified even a little of this work, then it has served its purpose. Thank you for listening.